G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video we're going to have a look at tab order. Now this is a perfectly uh, reasonable looking form. Um, it's got a bunch of buttons and options and, and what have you, uh, but if we run it we see that the tab order is all over the place. So uh, not very intuitive. So to fix that up um, we could go in, you know, I could set this this to be our first thing that gets focus, so I set that tab order uh, 0, uh, and then this 1, and 2, and so on, or I can right click and go um, tab order here, and we can adjust uh, panel 1, panel 2, and so on, um, button 1, which is one of these, we probably want that down the bottom, uh, along with button 13 and we can go in here and adjust the tab order within this panel uh, and it looks perfectly reasonable 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Um, so that's that's a perfectly reasonable way of adjusting the tab order, it's however a bit time consuming. A much more efficient way of going about things is uh, firstly by downloading CN Pack, uh, CN Wizards, so uh, click on that, scroll down to the bottom. Uh, and install it, and that will give you this menu here. And if we go into tab orders, um, uh, actually, in fact, by default, when you install it, uh, the display tab orders option is on, and we can immediately see that the uh, tab order is not the desired order. You know, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So nice sort of zigzag pa pa pattern there, and so on. Um, and we can see this is our first tab order, then it goes to the panel, uh, and then the you know tab order in here, and then this panel and tab order in here. So three is so there's three, four, five, six, and we see that the grey ones uh, kind of um, don't have. Uh, so if we wanted to cancel and we wanted to, to not make it a tab stop, it's now grey. Um, so that the panel itself is not a tab stop, but the controls on it are. Um, so that makes it a bit more obvious to, to see, you know, where we need to make adjustments. We can see, you know, we probably want that one to be zero, and and so on. Um, but that also is a bit painful. Uh, there is, however, a, a way of doing it to every uh, every component on the form. Um, what I'll do is in the options, I'll just go vertical first for now, uh, and we can settle the, the uh, various settings. Um, and if I just go control equals, um, we've now automatically adjusted the tab order for all the controls on the form. So if I run that, um, we note that we're going from the edit to this panel. That is because that panel is slightly too high. I'll just go to control equals again, and we can see that we're going 0, 1, 2. And we can tab through in a reasonably natural order. So, uh, a couple of things. Um, we might, these controls here, we might want to go uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, rather than going, you know, so, so down and then across, rather than sort of across and down. So I could just go to the uh, tab orders options and select horizontal first, and then tab orders for selected component or selected controls. And we're now zero, one, two, three, four, five. Um, might notice that uh, in here. We're going to the button first, and again, that's because the button is slightly bigger than the um, edit box. Uh, so that one we might want to adjust manually, so that we make uh, this tab order three, and that one will get four automatically. So zero, one, two, three, four. Um, so that can be a huge time saver, uh, and you can actually do it 
for all forms in your current project or project group. So if you're taking over a legacy project that hasn't been maintained very well, um, it, there might be tab orders all over the place and this is a really quick way of uh, adjusting the tab orders across the entire project. And it might not get everything uh, in the order that you want on the first pass, but it'll be a pretty good um, first approximation. Particularly if, if you know controls are you know slightly higher, you know not not quite aligned as they should be. Um, and yeah, things will, perhaps not quite the order you want, but it'll get pretty close. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover on um, the tab order in CN pack. It's quite powerful. And as you, as you can see, there's, there is a bunch of options. There's also this auto update tab orders. Um, I've been too scared to enable that. Uh, but if we turn that on and start adjusting controls around, um, we see that the, the the tab order automatically updates. And this is this is zero. So maybe we want to shift that slightly, and we can see it uh, adjusting automatically. But I don't have that generally turned on by default. Uh, I find that just a little bit scary. But you might be a bit more daring than I am. So that's all I wanted to cover for today. I hope you found this useful. I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Uh, check out LearnDelphi.tv. I've got lots of other free videos and some commercial ones. Uh, I just recently finished my video on generic collections, which is um, if you're wanting to get into using generics, um, the generic collection collections library is, is pretty awesome, um, and I cover it in quite a lot of detail. So check that out, uh, and uh, look out for my next video.